How are you guys doing? This is Mike from 603 Amp Tech Auto Works. Today we're going to do a common problem video on your M176 and M177 AMG engines. So this is a 4 liter V8 twin turbo. It's a hot V, so you got your turbos on the top and you got your intake manifolds on the side of the engine. So typically on your M278, you'd have your exhaust manifold here and your intake here. So turbos are a lot easier to change, but your intakes are a lot harder to change. So we're gonna go with our number one issue we've been seeing and that's thermostats. Now the Mercedes dealerships are now have these under extended warranty. So if you get this code, you can go to the dealership. I'm not sure what mileage they're covered up to, but can definitely look into that. Uh, but these are very common. Um, it's not an easy job. You got to take off the, all the intercoolers. You can see um, and it's very, very tight in the engine. Now we have this engine down because we're doing numerous things to it. Um, but that is one of the number one causes that we've, uh, one number one common issues that we've been seeing is these thermostats. So next we're gonna go over the oil separators. So these oil separators have actually been going bad and causing a lot of negative pressure and positive pressure in the crankcase, which is causing your seals to leak. So this one, the, the rear main seal is leaking pretty severely, um, but it can also cause other oil leaks, possibly your valve covers and even possibly your crank seal all depending on how bad these oil separators would be. This is another big job because the intercooler has to come out and it's very, very tight, uh, very time consuming. And when you can see this engine all back together, you can see how complicated this engine is. It's not really a good DIY engine. Um, so that is another one of those very common issues. Um, so we'll go to our third that we've been seeing a lot, especially on forms, uh, seeing you know, fellow guys at the dealership doing all these, and that's your valve covers. Um, so what people have been finding is when they go to do their spark plugs and they find oil in the hole, um, and these valve covers need to be resealed. Now that is a very, very big job. Um, is it possible to do in the car? It's possibly, it's possible, but it's very, very, very difficult. So a lot of people are dropping these engines to reseal it. And you can see how much stuff is on the top of this valve cover. It's just crazy amount um, of time and work. So that is another one of those big common issues that we've been seeing. Um, another one that I've dealt with in the past, they actually I believe put a, a safety recall or bulletin on it is these fuel lines, these rubber fuel lines. They were leaking from the factory causing a fuel leak, typically on a cold startup. Um, so you're replacing these hoses, um, but that should also be covered under warranty. We have another one of those things that we've kind of been seeing, but typically on your tuned vehicles, and these, these intake manifolds have been known to crack. Um, I've typically seen them on cars that are more tuned, but they're you know right here where everything kind of gets hot and they seem to crack. Then we have one other thing is the engine mounts. So the engine mounts, I would say on any, honestly, most models on Mercedes, engine mounts are very common to go. Um, we've seen them go lower mileage and higher mileage, but just know that doing motor mounts on this vehicle is very time consuming. Um, it's just probably best to just drop the engine, but we just looked up the labor time and it's 24 hours. So anything that's really needed to be done on this engine is, you know, quite expensive, but honestly, I'm definitely a fan over this engine over the M278. Now it's very complicated, but I think you can have a lot more fun with this engine if you take care of some of these common issues. So if you have the M176 or the M177 and you have to do a thermostat, I would definitely look into doing this oil separators while everything is out. Um, just so maybe possibly you might not need to replace your rear main seal or even a crank seal or even possibly your valve covers. Uh, it could save you some money and it's just cheap insurance. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. So if you have an M176 or M177, you're looking to purchase a vehicle maybe with those engines, definitely reach out to either a Mercedes independent repair shop or even the dealership to look over this engine before you go to buy it. Because like I said, it can be very expensive, but if I were to buy a car, it would have this engine in it right here. So thanks again for watching.